East Fort Myers got the most rain. Downtown Fort Myers received about two inches of rain, but go right down Palm Beach Boulevard there. You see three and even four inches of rain. That's where the rain was the heaviest, and that's where Fox 4's Lisa Greenberg is. A lot of flooding in southwest Florida. Lisa, what's the latest? Hey there, Jim. The rain has finally stopped. It's no longer drizzling out here, but the floods waters are still strong, of course. We're out at Palm Beach Boulevard near Royalston, and if you take a look at where I'm standing, you can see I'm in about a foot of water here, maybe even more than that. I'm starting to feel it inside of my boots, actually. But believe it or not, cars have been driving through this area, and it's even worse out here on the roadway. If you take a look down there, you can see there's a tow truck that's been kind of driving back and forth through here, getting trucks out of the water that have gotten stuck, and there's emergency crews down at the end keeping the road blocked off, keeping you from going into those deeper floodwaters, which are even further down Palm Beach Boulevard. Now we're going to roll to some of that video so you can get a better look at what's going on here, get a better picture of what we're dealing with. Um, the floodwaters out here, it's not really a new thing. If the rain isn't too bad, the water can drain right into the Caloosahatchee River. But if it rains this much and this steadily, the water just can't drain quick enough. And that's when we get that buildup of floodwaters like we're seeing here. Again, the roads are blocked off here. So if you're needing to drive through this area, you may want to take an alternate route. Now, this flooding may inspire some of you to go out and get some storm supplies, especially with Tropical Storm Erica on our radar here. So what supplies will you be needing and which supplies are the first to go? Check it out. For new Floridians like Valerie and Jesse Silva, hurricane season can seem daunting. We're just trying to figure out kind of what to do because we haven't done this before. They just moved here 10 days ago and are used to those California earthquakes. I think hurricanes are slightly more scary. There's no earthquake insurance and flood insurance is really expensive here. So when it comes to preparing for storms like Erica, Jesse turned it around on me since I grew up here in southwest Florida. Preparations are a little bit different. Uh, you should tell me what I should do to prepare. <laughs> I decided to leave it to the pros at Home Depot to ask which items are the first to go when you need them most. Now, the assistant manager here at Home Depot tells me when people are preparing for hurricanes and other storms, the first big ticket item to go are generators like this one and then the gas cans that go along with them. The lights go out, we don't have electricity, they gotta have something. Home Depot assistant manager Brian Boudreau says next to sell out. Probably plywood, tarps, um, water. Uh, anything to do with just flashlights. And if Erica does end up affecting Southwest Florida, Boudreau says it'll get pretty busy at the Home Depot over the next 24 to 48 hours, where they'll be stocking up on the most important thing to help you, manpower. All hands on deck, just making sure the store is fully staffed, uh, making sure we're waiting for the customers at the door and directing them to the right places. And the Silvas may be some of those customers, because for now, with Erica's path uncertain, the only supplies they're picking up. I just bought a barbecue, which will allow me to cook food even without uh, having power. So, yeah. There you go. Any other supplies on the mind? Or? Uh, I got to get some steaks. And of course, you can count on Fox 4 to keep you updated on this flooding situation, on Tropical Storm Erica, or really any storms on our radar, both on air and online. We're live in Fort Myers. Lisa Greenberg, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you, Lisa.